Arlington began as a settlement at the Lake of the Birds Fort in 1841. The site moved to present-day downtown when the Texas and Pacific Rail Line came through, enabling farmers to move cotton to market. Arlington Downs may have foreshadowed the city's emergence as an entertainment destination. Interwoven throughout Arlington's history is the commitment of the business community, working through the Arlington Chamber of Commerce. The Arlington Chamber of Commerce was founded in 1945 by community, business, and civic leaders who believed there should be a single voice to speak for the city's business community. The rich history of the chamber traces back to many of the city's most well-known and beloved leaders, including three former mayors who served as chairman of the chamber's board of directors, Tom Vandergriff in 1949, Harold Patterson in 1967, and Richard Green in 1981. Today, the Arlington Chamber is one of the region's largest business federations, representing more than 1,400 businesses, trade associations, and nonprofit organization members who collectively employ more than 60,000 people in Arlington. As an advocate, the Chamber represents the interest of the Arlington business community before our elected officials and regulatory agencies in Washington, Austin, Tarrant County, and the City of Arlington, as well as in the Court of Public Opinion. In 2001, the Chamber adopted a vision that we would be strategic in our planning, proactive in our execution, member and community driven in our direction, regional in our thinking, developing strategic partnerships with both public and private sector stakeholders, locally, regionally, and nationally to achieve common goals. Today, as an investment-based business organization, the Chamber is primarily focused on serving as a catalyst for economic and community growth and prosperity, an advocate for business and the interests of the business community, providing products and services of value to our members. In 2002, the Chamber Foundation was established to serve as a Chamber's strategic think tank. Today, the Foundation is engaging Arlington business leaders with civic, community, education, and government leaders to develop, develop ideas to advance the development of our community. During 2008 and 2009, the Foundation will engage more than 150 leaders in work groups established for identified subject areas such as education, mobility, and health care. The Foundation is nonpartisan, nonpolitical, engaging leaders from diverse backgrounds and perspectives. During 2009, we expect to identify a manageable number of high-value, high-return ideas for each subject area that can be used to guide the formulation of both policy and strategic initiatives in the years to come. The Foundation has also adopted five issues critical to business that will drive the debate for the foreseeable future. Those issues are diversity, a competitive workforce, energy and the environment, mobility, and health care. During the year, the Foundation will conduct a series of forums, seminars, roundtables, and dinners to engage both the business community and the general community in discussion and debate around these issues, supported by research studies conducted by the Foundation. Based on the outcome of these discussions, we expect some of the issues will evolve as strategic initiatives of either the Foundation or the Chamber. In partnership with the City of Arlington, the Alliance also manages the distribution of public funding for the arts. The City has allotted $100,000 from the hotel occupancy tax to the Arts Alliance, which is matched by the efforts of the Alliance, our business partners, and Arlington Arts organizations. The funds are distributed annually to both arts organizations and individual artists who reside within the city. I was mayor of Arlington in 2002 when the chamber launched Team Arlington a chamber-led coalition to advocate for resources in support of our economic development projects and initiatives. To date, Team Arlington has resulted 
in nearly $600 million in state and federal funding secured. Annually, the Chamber leads delegations to Austin and Washington, D.C. Team Arlington partners now include the City of Arlington, Tarrant County, the University of Texas at Arlington, Tarrant County College, the Arlington Independent School District, and Workforce Solutions for Tarrant County. These dollars have funded the Three Plus Bridges Project, expanded our airport, enabled UT Arlington to expand its research facilities to further its capabilities, and established the Center for Innovation and the Arlington Technology Incubator. In 2008, the Arlington Chamber launched Vote for Arlington, an unprecedented, multifaceted voter education and awareness campaign focused on the issues critical to both business and Arlington's economic growth. I applaud its primary purpose to engage business leaders in a comprehensive grassroots legislation and political process. The focal point of the Chamber's education-related activities is voter education and Get Out the Vote website, votefararlington.com. As an online destination for such issues as education, business advocacy, and political involvement, this site provides factual, objective information on both candidates' views and ballot issues, informing voters prior to the election. It is important to me that our citizens vote for Arlington. I was very pleased to have worked with the Chamber and City to develop the Three Bridges Project. Beginning in 2002, working with local, county, state, and federal officials, we secured $258 million in state and federal funds to build the bridges on Interstate 30 at Center Street, Collins, and Baird Farm Road, along with the interchanges at Division and State Highway 360. These bridges have enabled us to secure the Dallas Cowboys Stadium and the planned Glory Park development. The Chamber has been both a strong partner and supporter of UT Arlington's aspiration to become a major research university. In fact, the Chamber and the university jointly operate the Arlington Technology Incubator and the Center for Entrepreneurship. In recent years, Team Arlington has helped the University of Texas at Arlington secure more than $150 million for research facilities and capacity, recruit nearly 100 new research faculty, and expand our annual research expenditures from $20 million to $50 million annually. The Chamber's work to open doors in Austin and in Washington has been instrumental to our success. The Chamber was a critical partner with UT Arlington, the Tarrant County Workforce Development Board, and the City to establish the Center for Continuing Education and Workforce Development in 2004, bringing together all the primary stakeholders in Tarrant County. The facility is located on the UT Arlington campus and was selected in 2005 as a national demonstration site by the U.S. Department of Labor. The Chamber has been instrumental in establishing an employer-led approach to workforce development, which is critical to both retain and attract business and industry to Tarrant County. The Chamber's support of our community's primary industry clusters, such as advanced manufacturing, is important to the retention of our industrial base. The Chamber is currently working with General Motors Arlington Assembly Plant in two ways. First, by engaging UT Arlington's College of Engineering to conduct research to enhance our assembly line, and second, by engaging Tarrant County College and UT Arlington to train 151 new employees. Both projects are partially funded by state grants the Chamber secured. This is a type of community support that is critical to our ability to maintain our plant in Arlington. Since the launch of our initial strategic plan in 2001, the Chamber has worked in partnership with the city, county, university, college, 
AISD, and the Workforce Board to stimulate Arlington's economic growth. From my perspective, the bottom line in measuring the success of our plans is the actual impact these plans have had on the growth of our economy. Since the launch of our plan initial, the city's Avalon tax base has grown from $13 billion to $17 billion, which is a 30.7% increase. We have also experienced net growth in the total jobs from 139,000 to 193,000, which is a 38.8% increase. And net growth in medium income from $33,000 to $38,000, which is a 15.2% increase. And we have announced in partnership with the city an additional $4 billion in capital investment and over 13,000 direct jobs. That's why I'm one of 200 corporate investors who provide over $1.2 million annually. We are the Chamber. In 2005, the Chamber launched Arlington on the Move in partnership with our community's ethnic chambers of commerce, focused on providing information and assistance to small women and minority-owned businesses seeking public contracts and government procurement opportunities. It was one of several initiatives launched in support of the Chamber's commitment to serve women and minority-owned businesses, resulting in their increased participation in projects and initiatives throughout the city. That's why I am proud to serve as the Chairman of the Board of Directors during 2008-2009. I am the Chamber.